What's happening, everyone? Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, with another Transfer Daily, bringing you up to date with uh, all the news and rumours uh, from the transfer uh, window, which is just opened yesterday. Um, I bought you one of these on Wednesday. Um, we done for a night pint yesterday. I had a power cut on, on Thursday, so I couldn't do anything. But um, we will be back updating you. Now, there is a couple of rumours flying about today. Um, you've probably seen by the title. Um, first one's first. Uh, let's update you with something um, before I do anything, uh, and that's Aguerd. Uh, Aguerd is very much on the uh, on the cusp of being done uh, as far as reports are concerned. Um, he's away with Morocco at the minute on international duty, and the feeling is that Aguerd will be a West Ham United player um, by the time he comes back. So expect him, expect him to be unveiled very, very soon. Um, Aguerd has been on our transfer uh, radar all summer, um, and it looks like that may be, may be um, uh, wrapped up as soon as he gets back from international duty uh, before he goes on holiday. Jesse Lingard, uh, the next one. Um, obviously, we've seen the uh, the rumours that, that Ben Rama may be going, but that is to still be confirmed. Um, but Jesse Lingard, again, very much under on our radar and, and apparently... Um, conversations have started about getting him to the club now. Um, as I've said before, um, it is his preferred destination, London. Um, so he would like to come to London. Um, whether we can get that one over the line, I'm sure there'll be more suitors, but apparently London is uh, the place where he wants to play football. Um, a couple of new rumours that are flying around. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin of Everton. Um, Apparently on West Ham, Arsenal, and Newcastle's radar, uh, we are in the uh, the mix for a forward, as you as you know. Uh, we bought you a couple of uh, forward options the other day, uh, but Cavett Lewin um, of Everton uh, is apparently valued at fifty million pounds by Everton, and it, he has a couple of suitors. And David Moyes is very very keen. Uh, on Calvert Lewin, whether he's going to pay that fifty million pounds is is another thing. Um, look at the games from last year. Uh, 17 games, five goals. Good games to go, and he, he scored a really important goal. 25 years old, um, but we all know West Ham's uh, luck with injuries. You know, we can't afford to be play, paying £50 million for a player. That's more than our sort of record signings. Um, £50 million for a player, uh, and then having him uh, sitting on the bench uh, or, or on the treatment table, or whatever. Um, and it still is. It seems like crazy, but it still seems that, that Antonio is our preferred centre forward going into the new season, which I think uh, would be a missed opportunity. Uh, the next rumour, Basuma of Brighton, uh, 26 games, one goal, uh, a few assists as well. Uh, apparently, he's been offered to West Ham after he's been turned down by Tottenham and Liverpool, I believe, uh, for £25 million. Now, I think this would be a very, very smart signing. Uh, we need reinforcements in midfield after Noble's retired. Uh, Basuma is a, a tried and tested, uh, solid Premier League player. I think he's a very good player. He's in the last year of his contract. Now, knowing West Ham, uh, there are going to have a couple of suitors. Uh, I think Newcastle uh, may be in for him as well. Um, but th th they've got their eyes firmly fixated on Ward Prowse. So it, we could have a free run at Basuma. I think it would be, you know, silly not to really uh, when you, when you got, you know, you've got such a, um, an established Premier League player um, at that age, 25 years old. He's got a good few years left in him yet. Um, and he's been offered for 25 million pounds. As I said, he's in the last year, his contracts. So um, there could be a bit of negotiation now. Uh, and just for outgoings, there is Ashby um, who still, uh, he's on the radar of Leeds, but it looks like he may have his contract, um, uh, maybe a contract issue with him. He may be under contract uh, for West Ham uh, for a year longer than was first thought. Uh, and the, the story today is Bowen um, has been approached, apparently his representatives have been approached by Arsenal, of all people. Let me put a picture up of Bowen here um, in the new kit. Uh, Arsenal in for Bowen for, you know, it doesn't say how much it is, but apparently he has been contacted by Arsenal. They're looking for reinforcements themselves. Um, I would be very, very surprised if anything happens. It, it would take a phenomenal bid, I think, to get Bowen away from us now. He's, he's quite happy. He's quite settled. Although we were speaking about this last night, about if he, you know, Liverpool 
uh, Art on his radar and we sound like he's settled in London now. Arsenal are a London club, but I don't expect him to be going anywhere um, for uh, for the next season or two, at least. Um, that, that certainly not this season, certainly not to Arsenal. Um, but let's take some comments quickly before I wrap this one up. I know it's only a quick one, uh, but there aren't many updates at, at, that we don't know. Uh, Alfie Down says, evening, Hammers. Adrian Boylan says, let's see, bosses do talk shite. Darren Clarkson, how can Bowen have been approached by Arsenal without our permission? Isn't that illegal? Well, I don't think it's illegal to, 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 um, to, to approach his representatives. Approaching the player um, directly, I think, yes. But I think it's sort of just, a, just an inquiry, really, to see if he's there. Uh, Select Clover says, Arsenal can F off. Um, Alfie Down, it's illegal that Bowen can even be mentioned by anything to do with Arsenal. Um, John T says Calvert Lewin won't be coming, Nicky. I don't think he'll be coming either, uh, but it is a rumour at the moment. I highly doubt Moyes would give permission for anyone to talk to Bowen. Um, Steve Tolley, all right, Nicky, mate. Imagine if no striker comes in and it's Antonio up top again. If that's how it goes, we're going to struggle. End of. Uh, but Sumo I hear is an option. Uh, for sure, will be a cracking signing next to Rice. I agree with that, mate. I do agree with that. He's, uh, I think, he's a no-brainer if we can get him for that. Bentar, we will sign. Uh, we will. Will we sign anybody in this window? We're we going to struggle through the season if we don't sign anyone in this window, mate. You know, we are in trouble. Um, Clay Torres says, "Let's just not buy." I think that means shit for the sake of it to make up the numbers. Um, this Aguirre deal is supposedly close, but who knows? Apparently, when he gets back from international duty, it, it'll be uh, um, it'll be wrapped up. Ryan King says Bowen's on fire and he's staying for Danny Dyer. Uh, Elias Martin says Arsenal, my uh, most hated team. Uh, we should bring in uh, Coventry back and give him some game time in season in Europe. I think you'll find a, a, a couple of the kids may get promoted uh, to the. Uh, uh, to the first team. Uh, praying we manage to get some transfers in and not do our usual, leave it until the last minute and get no one. Right. That is it from me today. I'm going to host the England game, so go and check out DR Sports. Um, we have got a sale coming up from tomorrow uh, on our uh, on our store for Father's Day. It'll be a week-long sale up until next Sunday um, to get 20% off of the Father's Day uh, T-shirts. You may be able to access it now. Um, it's Hammers20 in all capital letters at the checkout if you want to do that. The, the link is in the description down below. The new podcast has just gone live on the Patreon. So if you want to support us on Patreon, you can do that. Again, the link is in the description down below. And we'll be back with more transfer news tomorrow evening. Um, apart from that, one thing left to say, come on, you irons. <laughs>